Our newsmaker of the morning is Berkshire Hathaway's chairman and CEO, Warren Buffett. And Warren, we have not gotten the chance to speak with you since you made an announcement along with Jamie Dimon and Jeff Bezos about how the three of you are creating a new company to try and tackle the ever-increasing level of health care costs in America. Tell us a little bit about this plan, how this came together. How, how did the three of you set this up? Yeah, it's a good question. and it, 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 I think that... Uh, um, Certainly, Todd and I, Todd Combs, Todd Combs in our office, yeah. uh, uh, discussed it quite a bit. Todd is on the board of J.P. Morgan, and I think he uh, talked to Jamie about it, and uh, uh, he participated probably more in the discussion than I did. But I love the idea of tackling what I regard as the major problem of our economy. I think that you had. Healthcare costs go from 5% of GDP in 1960. They were $170 per person annually, and now they're over 10,000, and they're seven, they're closing in on 18% of GDP, which is as much as the federal government raises in a year. So it's it's and it, it gives every indication of going up and up and up. Now, uh, you, you want the best healthcare, but but you find that in other industrial uh, countries that were at about our 5% level many years ago, they've gone up into the 11% range or thereabouts. So we have got a huge competitive disadvantage in American businesses, far more important than any tax change in, in terms of our health care costs. And, and uh, 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 3.3 trillion a year now, that's, every dollar has a constituency. So when you try to, and, and it's a very complicated system. But I do think we have the right three partners, and, and the job now is to get the right CEO. And that's an enormously important job, and we can't afford to make a mistake. And, and that is our first and most important order of business, and, and then we go forth. You, you all have, have uh, not put out a lot of details about how this is going to work, but there's been an awful lot of conjecture yeah. and, and people trying to figure things out. In fact, on the day that you announced this, there was a huge hit to plenty of health care stocks across the board, from insurers uh, to the pharmacy benefit managers. Um, and this is not the first time that a group of people oh. has tried to tackle health care costs, but this is the first time that the market has had an instantaneous reaction yeah. to something like this, probably in, in, uh, in no small amount because of the stature of the three of you combined doing this. What, yeah. what, what's your goal? Well, the goal is to deliver better care in reality and also in terms of how the people feel about the care that they're receiving because that's important too and and to find ways to take cost out of the system while not impairing the quality of what what people receive and that's enormously complicated there's so many intersecting uh, companies and people it, 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 it's, it, it's not gonna be easy but we you know we're determined we've got the money we'll stick with it, it you mentioned actually forming a company we haven't we don't necessarily have to form a company. We may form a company and probably will, but, but it, it's just a joint effort now, and, and we will need somebody to head an organization. And it could be a partnership form and different things. But, uh, and our goal is really not just for the three companies. Our, our goal is something that other people can pick up on and, that when, and to stop this really just constant increase because there are only a hundred cents in the dollar and if you've got 18 cents which we're approaching going to health care you've only got 82 cents left mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that there it's a very complicated system I know you're not an expert on it but you've spent a lot of time digging through it and so have the other people who are working with this um, Todd Jamie uh, and, and and Jeff and lots of other people involved underneath um, what's your early read on some of these things because if you look for margins there are Lots of middlemen and lots of margins. Yeah, no, I think we've, we've been inundated from people that would like to run this or like to help. Mm -hmm. Just inundated, and, and I should emphasize help. And, and, and also companies that would like to join, you know, and all of that, but we're not remotely there. Uh, but uh, it, it would be very easy, I think, to go in and shave off three or four percent just by negotiating power or certain things. We're looking for something much bigger than that. that. That can be part of it, but we are hoping to figure out a way that the constant increase as a percentage of GDP can be at least halted and hopefully that we could find a way where perhaps better 
care could be delivered even at somewhat lesser cost. You think the private sector can do it better than the government? Yeah, I, I think usually that's the case, and I think that's probably the case in healthcare. I mean, I realize again this is early on, but people look at pharmacy benefits managers. They'll look at Express Scripts and say that their margins are nine percent on the hundred billion dollars in drugs that go through their system every year. Is that like an easy way to clip, or are well, we talking about working even beyond? Oh, it'd be beyond that, way beyond that. Um, and and I can't tell you what. They, they, they interact in ways that it's, it's going to take a terrific CEO, a lot of commitment, probably some important mistakes, lots of time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in lots of time. <laughs> I'm going to keep it moving. But it, it, this is not easy. It was easy to be done. And it's, it's very, very difficult. It, it isn't, it, like I say, it isn't difficult to shave a little bit off here, but it'll pop up someplace. It, it, it has to be looked at by somebody who really has a grasp of it from every angle, hospitals, physicians, patients. I mean, uh, and the question is whether we can come up with something better, and I'm hopeful, but, but don't expect any miracles out of us soon. We, we, we've got the perfect partnership and, and with Jeff and Jamie. I mean, we can make things happen. Our companies are big, yet we can, we can still make things happen. We're not that, we're, you know, we don't have the bureaucratic problems or the constituency problems that some others might have. And we like each other and we trust each other. And so that's going to work very, very well. And it's a lot of muscle. But it takes, it, it's going to take a terrific CEO, and that's our most important job by far, is finding that person. Like I say, we've been inundated with, with uh, prospects. And we'll, we want to come up with the right person, and I hope we do it fairly soon, but we're, we're not going to compromise. Is this a plan we should expect, or should, would you expect to see this in place a year from now? I would expect to see a CEO in place a year from now, but there will be a lot to do, Peggy. I mean, you know, and I mean, you talk about something that has 3.3 .3 trillion of revenues presently going to people, and most people that are on the reception end of the 3.3 trillion are, are happy with things. I may have said billion, but the 3.3 trillion are happy with things. And although they'll all say things can be better, but done better, but not in their particular segment. You mean the actors involved in receiving <laughs> oh, the sure. checks that are coming it's in? It's a problems. huge, yeah. huge, huge industry. And, and, and they're good people. And we've done well with medicine here. Although we don't have more doctors per capita or more beds per capita or more nurses per capita than these countries that are spending 11% or so. So, uh, but it, 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 we, 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 we should have a, a top-notch CEO certainly well within a year. And we will give that person a lot of latitude and a lot of support. Uh, uh, and, and he or she will need it. <laughs> You know, in, in the past, when we've talked about ways to try and bend the cost curve as a nation, when we've had this discussion, people always say, be careful what you cut back on because you could hurt the innovation process. You could hurt what we are doing to come up with the best healthcare procedures and, and pills and uh, sure. discoveries in the healthcare sure. front. Do you worry about that? Yeah, I mean, but I think you've got three organizations, and I think we will have a CEO that's terribly conscious of that. And, and, and uh, there's no question, I mean, that our drug companies and I, I mean, they work miracles, uh, you know. I take a few pills, you know, and then they, did. they seem to help. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think I receive very good health care. Uh, so there's a lot good about our system, but the system, by its very nature, is not cost conscious. I mean, if you were a a young medical person, and let's just say you're working on prostate cancer, which I had, the rewards to you psychologically and with your peers, everything, are going to come if you do something that develops something better for prostate cancer, which they should, but they weren't going to come to you if you re reduce the cost of treating it. <laughs> there, there just isn't the same motivation as, as in the, 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 the outstanding medical minds are functioning, in many cases, much more on the results, which they sh should be. But the cost really doesn't make much difference. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, 
it's very seldom that you read about some breakthrough on cost <laughs> by anybody in this huge profession. So it's got a different set of incentives and, and, uh, to, to, to some degree. And we've got to figure out a way to keep the good parts, uh, you know, without, but also to get at what I've called, and it really truly is a tapeworm on the economic system. I mean, it is eating up instead of $170 per person in 1960, when we actually thought we were doing pretty well in this arena, to over $10,000 per person. Just think of that, $10,000 per person. You know, family of four, on balance, $40,000 of GDP going to, to uh, uh, just one aspect of their lives. Let me ask a question from Mark Gilbert, who, who writes in that you've made a lot of money from some very successful profit-making companies. Why is your new health venture with Amazon and J.P. Morgan designed to be free from profit-making incentives and constraints? Is profit-seeking not a good incentive? Yeah, it, it, it certainly can be a good incentive. I mean, it's a wonderful incentive, and there may be many places that it happens in this. And, and we didn't, if you read the, what we said carefully, I mean, it, we are free from that as a demand, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen. Sure. Uh, what I'd love to see, of course, is costs come down and the employees, in terms of, because they're very uh, you know, significant parts of the cost. Uh, you know, I, I personally, at Berkshire, I'd like to see them get the first reduction if we, if, if we find something better. Right. That doesn't say that Berkshire shouldn't get some too, but, but it, it's, it's really a huge, huge cost to the American public, and it gets down to the worker. I mean, it, this, it, the company may write the check, but they often get participation and co-pays and all, all kinds of things. So uh, this is, goes beyond just trying to improve the bottom line of, of the three companies involved. In well, companies like Berkshire Hathaway and J.P. Morgan and Amazon make up, I think they, they cover about half of all American households. Um, about half of American households get insurance through companies like this, so it could make yeah, a big you know, impact it, if it, people are following from that. It's sort of the way it's developed in this country. and and and. and, and Partly the, the tax law leads to that because the companies get a deduction and the employee doesn't recognize income on that particular benefit. I mean, if we could, if, if the company bought all your food, you know, <laughs> you, you would get charged on the implicit value of the food that you were getting. But they, they, the tax law has, a, has an impact in terms of how, how the whole system is arranged. Lots of things have an impact. That's why it's going to be so difficult to, to really make fundamental change. But we're committed to it. One of the recent additions that Berkshire made to its holdings, to its stock holdings, was the addition of Teva. And there was a question that came in from uh, Marco, a guy named Trader Marco, who says, what are your expectations on return on investment for investment in Teva? Do you have any hopes, plans, or strategies to help introduce Teva in the mix of the Amazon, J.P. Morgan, Berkshire Group's aspirations for a more efficient and cheaper health care plan Oh, that would be the last thing on our mind. But the, yeah. but. Teva is not a stock I bought. It's one of the other two, two. and and Todd or Teva. I've never never talked with them about it. So you have no idea why you bought it. No <laughs> why Berkshire bought it. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, and, and he'll sell it without telling me. I mean. Right. <laughs> hey there! Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.